I want to say we're pretty much at the end of this here. Wait a minute, are we in the island now? Oh, no, I think we've always been. I think we've always been on the island, actually. I'm getting my locations completely mixed up, and the fact that this is a like a brand new area does not help with that at all. Or maybe it isn't a completely brand new area. I think it might just be a um, like above an area that we go to as Leon, if I'm not mistaken. I like that these guys have war paint on. Like, what are you doing? I wonder how hard it would be to uh, run through everything. Ah, shit. Can't really do my knifing when there's multiple guys. Maybe I can. Nope. Just getting, uh, you know, get an arrow in the face. Why not? That guy kind of looks like he's wearing Leon's jacket. Yeah, I can't believe I still don't have uh, Ada in, like, full health. Alright, that's absurd. Trying to snipe with a handgun. Come on. Was there another snipey guy? Because I feel like I got hit from a different direction. I got hit from a different erection. Yeah, man, this doesn't like... This doesn't look familiar to me at all. The, um, the tunnel sequence and the boats with the guns, that all was, like, stuff that I remembered. I just didn't remember that they were in this level, but I remembered them. This I just don't remember at all. I need to just, uh, I need to stop getting hurt. I need to stop getting attacked by people, that's what I need to do. I need to lure them all near that. Looks like there's gonna be a hookshot area here. The camera is god awful right now. It, it, the, yeah, the camera is angled up in the way that it usually is when there's a hookshot area, but it it doesn't look like there's a hookshot area. Or does that guy have dynamite? The one guy up there has horrible aim. Don't you dare plug us. You're an asshole. I don't feel like wasting any ammo on you. I do, however, feel like wasting ammo on this man. That didn't work exactly how I planned, but he should still blow him up. The hitbox on that is insane, because I, I, I guess I hit his hand. Which you didn't think it would be that specific. Look at, look at the way that they want you to not see the items that are down here by uh, aiming the camera up like this. No, there we go. Eh, this game was in like 2004. Can't really complain about the camera. If this keeps happening in games today, then yeah, you can absolutely uh, complain about it then. That was the old twofer. That guy's got a protected face. What is that weird nonsense that keeps happening on the screen? Like, just white light just keeps shining. Really should have paid attention to that guy, huh? 
Like, look at that. What is that white light? Is it supposed to be fog, maybe? That's the only thing I could potentially see it being. Alright. Uh, let's use this herb. I have an ungodly amount of shotgun ammo. My goodness. I might as well just switch to that right now. Back this way. Does that go in the cat? How is the cat's eye not fitting in the cat? Right up Main Street. I can't believe I just referenced the fucking Deadpool movie. A movie I almost fell asleep in. Which is in 24 years the only time that that has ever happened. I've only ever walked out of one movie and that was The Great Gatsby. And I've the closest I ever came to falling asleep during a movie was Deadpool. Not a whole lot going on there. Well, I wish I didn't use that herb so quickly. I love how the, the shields, like, break apart like that before they actually break apart. Like, that's just- the, the amount of detail in this game is just absurd. And this- this game had a very troubled development, too. I don't know if it was troubled, it definitely had a longer development. Let me unlock that. And it was pretty much this game is the gift that just kept giving. Because it, it started as Devil May Cry. And then we got that out of it. So if it wasn't for Resident Evil 4, we wouldn't have one of my favorite other franchises in gaming. Isn't there a thing I could take? There was a box there. It's gone now. Seeing all these biohazard signs all over the place, they really want you to remember what this game is called. Okay, so this should be close to where Leon and Krauser are fighting. Where did we drop in from? Let's see, what is the way that they want me to go? They want me to go. I don't know, I'm gonna go through this door. What's through here, though? Okay, yeah, that's the way they want me to go, so I'm gonna just try and go through this door here. Find out what the treasure is. I see this. Aha! It's another thing for the cat! Keys treasures. I am very glad I didn't sell that when I did. Is that the only thing in here? Yep. No point in leaving this room, I suppose. I wonder if I even can. Hmm. Another good thing about uh, Ada's story is that you don't ever have to deal with, well, I mean, not never, but you don't really have to deal with, um, regenerators. <laughs> I've been saying that for years! Don't let Leon drive anything! Every single vehicle he's ever been in, in the Resident Evil series, has crashed. Like, really think about it. Not one has survived. Um, I need a red and a green. I cannot believe Ada actually, like, she's self-aware. I'm not gonna save, there's checkpoints. There's a treasure... somewhere in here. Ah, 
Oh, wow, isn't it weird? I was just thinking about, like, when I Let's Played this game, I remember what I was talking about in this exact room. I think I was talking about David Hayter being replaced as Snake in uh, Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain. That's crazy that I remember that. Now certain rooms just will always have the, um, like, that context now. Yeah, it was this room. You know, it's probably because this guy and these enemies look like Psycho Mantis. This, this room doesn't seem very much different than it was in the main game. What the hell? Where's this treasure? Is it in here? No. This shotgun is so good. I'm gonna go look for that treasure real quick. This is the last thing that I need. It sure is. The blue stone of treason. Love it. Fuck those cat's eyes then. See, that's why it is pretty useful to get the treasure maps. Even though, like, there's nothing for me to buy now. You know, I have all the, like, the good weapons. Well, I just have all the weapons, period, I think. So there's legitimately no reason for me to do anything. I like this, you can hear Leon and Krauser uh, doing their dumb little knife fight. Which I, th I still think is like one of my favorite parts of the game. It was just a, it's a very unique way to do a boss battle. What? God damn it. I forgot that I had any input on this cutscene. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is really cool not having to do anything in this cutscene. Because usually you gotta be on your toes. Fuck me. <laughs> Much better. Ada! Well, if it isn't the bitch in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> you may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here. Maybe some other time. Couldn't they have put the, like, not horribly compressed versions of the cutscenes in there? I don't know, just a thought. Because that those were just the cutscenes from the game. Anyway, that was, a, that was an okay level. I think the next one's a lot more fun, if I remember correctly. Leon S. Kennedy. Perhaps the most essential part of this mission. This story wouldn't be complete without him and his formidable survival skills. 
He has what it takes to survive against overwhelming odds. I've seen him do it before. And he's improved since then. Practically a genius, he has smarts and he knows how to use them. On top of that, his service as a government agent has toughened him up. I'll work behind the scenes to make him think he's the primary player here. Though it may be naive of me to think that'll be easy. Considering the involvement of both Sadler and Krauser, the possibility of unforeseen problems is there. But I need him in the supporting role for me to achieve my goals. I'll do whatever it takes to keep him in his place, and make this all go smoothly. Of course, his role didn't exist at all until a few months ago. Back then, my role was much simpler too. But that was before the President's daughter was abducted and Leon was dispatched alone to find her. Talk about a major script revision. I don't think I need to worry. Leon's been through worse and always comes up smelling like roses. His consistent luck is part of the reason why I have absolute and unshakable faith in my vision of what's in store for him. <laughs>